very important aspects for lead collection. The more visitors you can get using a persuasive copy in your forms, the more leads you get. MailMint's exclusive form builder lets you create stunning forms for your website. Today, I'll show you how you can use MailMint's form builder easily and super efficiently. So let's get started. So to create forms, you need MailMint free and pro installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. You can see that I've already done that. So today's video will be in two sections. So the first section will cover all the basic settings of our uh, MailMint form builder. And in the next section, I'm going to show you how you can create a form for your website or maybe a web page. So let's get started. Now, firstly, let's go to the forms module. So once I go there, I have to click new form. And you can see that all the pre-made uh, form templates have appeared here. So let me take one from here. Now you can see the specific form has been loaded here. Now let me go through the settings section of each form uh, very quickly. Now, first comes the confirmation settings. Now, if you want your confirmation settings to be on the same page, which means if you want your users to stay on the same page where uh, they filled up the form from, you can select same page and you can uh, edit a specific message to show what you're gonna uh, tell them after they've submitted the form, right? So by default, a message has been um, selected here, you can see, which is the form submitted successfully. Now, if you edit this, use any of the message you want. If you want to like say form submitted or you can add any message you want to show here as you want. Now, the next confirmation type is to a page. So you can either select, let's say, mailman preference. What that will do is your user will be taken to the specific mailman preference page. All right. Now, I'm not going to keep it. Let's go to the to a custom URL page. Now, if you want to take your user to a specific web page, then you can add your custom URL in this field. And you can also add a redirection message here as well. So that's about it for the confirmation type. So for this specific case, I'm going to keep it on the same page. And for this display option, you can also enable or disable this option for specific days. All right. Now I'm going to keep it always visible. Now for the next setting, I'm going to show you the form types. Now you can see you can select four types of uh, forms for this specific template. Let me tell you, you can use these types for any of the templates available. And if even if you create one, you can use this as well. So you can see the four options are pop up, fly in, fixed on top and fixed on bottom. So for the pop up form, what will happen is once you uh, once your user comes into your web page or website or landing or wherever you have uh, embedded the form this specific form will um, animate as pop-up all right for the next type is fly in so it will fly in inside that web page if you select this or you can select other two types of form that we have is one is the fixed on top and other one is the fixed on bottom so it will be either fixed on top of the web page or fixed on bottom of the web page so for this specific template i'm going to use the pop-up one now for the next settings, we have animation. Now you can select two types of animation for now. Now, if you select fade in, then the specific form uh, will animate as faded in. And if you select the sliding up animation, then the specific form will slide upwards once uh, your user has submitted the form. Now let's move ahead to the next option that we have, which is the appearance. Now you can select if you want this form to be displayed on all pages or you can select the specific page where you want to display or you can use display on all posts, which means the specific form will be displayed on all the posts you have on your site 
or you can select a post as well so if your user is viewing a product you can uh, select this form to be displayed on that specific product now for the last option we have the close button color you can select the button colors however you want you can select the icon colors you can select the background color of this form and you can change the gradients as well so this is basically how the settings option look like in form now if you want to edit a specific field then you have to select on the fields now let's say for email field you can change the email label you can change the placeholder text you can also update the label style spacing you can also change input field styles you can change the alignments you can also add additional css uh, code if you want so that's about it for the email field you can also add new fields here so let's say you want to add a first name field here right so you can see that another field has been added here so the first name field is basically same as the email field you can change the label styles input field styles and add additional codes and <clears throat> same goes for the last name if you want your users to add their last name you can add that too using this field that we have which is the last name and for the last one you can also add custom fields here now for the custom field you can either uh, map an existing custom field that you might have uh, created from the settings option but i'm not going to do that because i don't have one yet so i'm going to create a new custom field let's say i want to create a custom field named if they're a new customer or not and i'm going to give a placeholder text here let's say then i'm going to mark it as required and i'm going to create the custom field from here you can see that my new custom field has been saved now as usual you, the other options which are label style input field style and additional css codes are as same as the other fields right now let me show you the button options real quick so if i click on this you can see that i can change the button text i can change the button styles the color and i also can add some additional css codes if i want <music> For this section, I'm going to create a form uh, and use it in a specific post in order to show you how the form builder works in Mailman. Now I will go to the form module. As you can see, I don't have any forms built yet. So I'm going to click on a new form. And like before, I'm going to import one of the existing pre-made form templates. So I'm going to click on select and as you can see the form has been loaded here and for the next thing i'm going to edit the title now the form that i'm going to create will be used to collect leads so i'm going to name it lead generation now i'm going to add a specific list which is the potential customers now this will mean whoever comes uh, into my website and sees this opt-in form and submits it they will be assigned this potential customer list by default. Now I am going to edit this template that I already have, right? I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to replace it with an existing image that I have. So I'm going to use this specific image. And you can see that my image has been updated. Now I'm also going to edit this header. So let's say I'm going to giving give it sign up now and i can also edit the content which is let's say subscribe to get the free now i can also edit the email field i can also add another field which will be maybe first name now I will edit this header color 
I want to give it let's say pink color and I want to edit this as well I want to edit the button color which will be this now I just have to click on update so this is my form and it has been updated successfully now for the next part what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click here now you can see that the basic settings have appeared here right now what I'm gonna do is now if I click on appearance I can select a specific post where I want to embed this form so I can select this one which is the best lead generation tactics where I want to uh, show this form to my visitors now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on update so once you do that your form will be updated and now let me show you how it's gonna look at the front end so if you click on post you'll be able to see the post that I just added here I'm going to view it incognito window So as you can see, the pop-up form has appeared here and I'm going to add an email address as well as the first name to subscribe into my own mailment uh, contact list. And I will click on subscribe now. So you can see that my form has been submitted successfully. Now I'll go back and check my mailment contact list you can see that nabila at gmail.com and the first name nabila has been added to my contact list as well as it has been assigned the potential customer list name but also you can see that the status is pending here so if you click on the email you can update the status however you want so this is it guys this is how you can create lead generation forms using mailment easily and super efficiently to collect leads and convert them into your customers that's it for today i'll see you in one of my next videos